Welcome to my 8th uh, battle of my first ever let's play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. In this battle I'm attacking Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. And uh, as you can see I've already placed my troops up in formation. Um, I got three groups of uh, line infantry who are going to be my assault groups basically. However, I'm quite anal when it comes to placing them correctly. So, there we go. Just so. There we go. Okay, that's a good formation right there. Now, um, there's no particular reason I'm placing them like this, except I'm going to send them in in three waves. Firstly though, this fortress is an improved fortification. It is a star fort. Uh, it is very difficult to defeat these, especially when the numbers are as even as they are right here. So, I don't know how this will go. I might lose. So I'm going to make good use of my cannons. Unfortunately, he does have cannons all along these walls. I did try to attack head-on on a one of these stars because it doesn't have any cannons facing straight forward here. So if I'd placed them here, he would have been able to shoot me from there and there and so on and so forth. So it's a very... This fortress is designed to cover everywhere around with cannons. So hopefully while, uh, what I'll do is that I'll try to take out his cannons as quickly as possible with my own cannons. And as you can see, I have very low caliber cannons. They're not very powerful. Not very powerful at all. And he's shooting my troops that are under attack. However, I like to still formation my here. I wonder, is there a way to turn off those flags? Because they're really annoying. There we go. Now look at that. Just look at that. They stand bravely in the face of enemy cannon barrages. Now, where is he firing from? What cannons is he using? He's using these. Oh, I cannot hit them because this star forward thing is in the way. But he can still hit me, I, su I assume. Now, if I grab this one. I'm going to send my first wave up. I'm going to try and capture this star uh, thingy here because he doesn't have any troops up there. And I'm going to stand here and shoot across the wall to him. At him right here. His line versus line. Not much I can do about that. And that's where the cannon fire is coming from. So that's where I need to focus my own cannon fire. No fire at will. Fire where I say. Fire over here. I do hope the volume is okay in this battle. I have turned down the volume in game quite a lot, but it didn't seem to make that much of a difference to be honest, so we'll see. Now let's speed this up a bit. As you can see, my computer is quite powerful. I am speeding this up in full speed uh, in a huge match, and it is no problem. He is moving some Phylocom citizenry in here. I don't mind, my guys have bayonets. They're line infantry with bayonets. Shouldn't be a problem for them. Yeah, 
that's good enough. And that's why he had so much problem, because this is really bugged. Trying to climb up walls is uh, apparently very, very bugged. There we go, that should be his cannon battery's gone. So I'll just focus on this little bastion thing and destroy that. Alright, Marchman, go for it. Put a glorious Sweden with a Swedish flag in front. That is exactly how it's done. My cannons are not started firing. Okay, they're out of range. Uh, they cannot fire at those guys. That's fine though. I'll make them attack this fort instead. Now, I do not think this is like sh Fall of the Samurai or Shogun 2, where if you send them on the walls, they'll start firing before everyone is at the walls. Which is quite annoying, so I have to make sure every single guy gets up there. And these guys are bugging out. Well, actually, they're just going around using the other... <laughs> the other ropes. Uh, he, it doesn't look like he is that sizable of an army, but I do know for a fact that he has a full one just like me. You can see he's spread out all over here. And there we go. That's that battery destroyed. Now this battery should be able to take that one out. No problem. Should be within range. No? There we go. Okay, looks like these guys are almost all up here. Just a few more guys coming. I don't want to bug this by giving them orders too early. And apparently I can't place them along the walls. No? You don't want to use the walls? Walls are for suckers, huh? Fine, I'll send these guys into the melee against the line infantry over there. I'll send more line infantry up the walls. Get up there. Now we are heavily pushed here, but I believe my troops will come out victorious because he has militia. He has uh, he has light infantry as well, but he has a lot of militia. Now there's no point in all my troops fighting at the same time though, so I'm going to send this one back.
This way, only one unit will get tired at the same time. Does his unit even have bayonets? He doesn't have bayonets! Okay, it's great for me. Meanwhile, the rest of my troops are moving up. Now, let's see, let's see. Yes, that's exactly what I'll do. I do have, like I said, I have split this into three attack groups. There is a reason for that, and that reason is I'll have these guys attack different parts of the walls at the same time. So there we go. Now they're splitting up. I'll let them march. They're not going to be tired for the mm, for the battle to come. That's not good. So I'll let them march. Now I'm not going to destroy these fortifications. I only want to damage them enough that the enemy won't use them for cannons. Once again, I only want one of my troops to fight. I don't want uh, all of them to fight at the same time. See, they're already tired, you know. But his units will also tire. So when he's done with one of mine, he'll just run straight into several more. And once again, he doesn't have bayonets. He has Phylogon cities from me, militia, and some line infantry, but no bayonets. No chance against my bayonet armed Swedish infantry. <laughs> One went down there. That was funny to watch. Meanwhile, he is. I don't know what these guys are doing right here. Meanwhile, my forces are advancing, splitting into two groups. In the background, you can see people still climbing up the ladders. With some small fighting going on down here. Let's see how these guys do if any of them survive. Oh! <laughs> Ouch! Ah, oh, one guy died in the background there. And that guy got killed. So they were running away. They were running away. Oh, they're not running away, but they're falling back a bit. Okay, now one of my uh, units is very tired. I'm gonna have them withdraw from the battle. And I'm gonna send a new one in. I'm gonna send these guys in. The reasoning behind this is, even though these guys are confident, they're very tired. They're not very combat effective right now. So I'm gonna send them back, let them rest. And I'll send my... well, they're tired as well, actually. And I do have some fresh units. Are they all here? They are still not moving. They are still not moving. Okay, I'll send these guys into melee. And there we go. Always send another unit in before you retreat the first one. It's a good rule. They're just tearing them up. No problem. The enemy are exhausted and winded and uh, all that stuff. No problem at all. And my guys have bayonets. You can see that there's a bunch of people stacked here, so it's going to take a while. Meanwhile, over here, my units are moving into position. I'm going to have these guys run, maybe intercept these guys. These guys still not in a hurry. Actually, you know what? You guys, stop moving. Let's see if you can shoot these guys. And they can. Now, shooting is good because it'll allow me to kill his people without losing any of mine. However, I do not have rank fire or any such thing. So I probably should just uh, engage him in melee, seeing as how they're tired. They're very tired. Here we go. I do not know where these guys are going, at all. The 
here we go. Tired militia without bayonets against line infantry with bayonets who are fresh. This should not be a problem at all. Oh, and he went down. Ow! <laughs> this is a slaughter, ladies and gentlemen. This is a slaughter. There is no mercy, and they are shattered. They are gone. They are out of here. So, time to take these walls. Take them for the glory of Sweden. And you can open fire again. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Action. These guys uh, start to go in the walls. So, I'll have to get up ASAP. And apparently I can't climb that wall. So, they'll have to climb over here. And how am I line infantry doing? They're very tired now, so I'm going to withdraw them. I'm going to send in my other fresh... Units. This is the way to do it. Don't withdraw your troops before the other troops have reached front line. That way they can hold them back while the rest of you guys withdraw. And you know, by the time the first unit is done, is done fighting, my second unit will be not tired anymore. units in there. Why do I have two units in there? These guys are the tired ones, aren't they? Yes, they are. You fall back. There you go. Well done. Meanwhile, my Swedish troops are climbing up all over this place. I mean, fighting is exhausting, as you can see. They get tired very quickly. However, I have killed so many guys with these compared to how many I lost. It's not, a, it's not even funny. Now, how will uh, these guys fare? Again, these guys are tired. I do have a fresh unit here. That was in. These guys were in combat earlier, but they're now fresh. They're now fully replenished. They are ready to go again. So I'm gonna let them. Once these guys become very tired, which will happen any time now. Meanwhile, lots of fighting going on up on the walls. Once again, line infantry without bayonets versus people with bayonets. There's no contest. You know, there is no contest at all. And final come citizenry against line infantry. Oh, actually, I actually managed to kill one of mine. Oh, and a boss right there with a drum and a sword. Like a boss. Very good, very good, Sweden. Keep at it. Kill the foolish Danes. This is your arch enemy. You love killing Danes. There we go, they reached the front line, so time to pull these guys back. I love this system of rotating my uh, who fights and who doesn't. This way I minimize my losses while maximizing the enemy casualties. Uh, time to run these guys down. He does have a regiment of line infantry down there, actually. And these guys aren't fully up here yet. I'll wait until they're all up there. And there's still fighting going on down here. Up here. Lots of fighting. So, kill them all. Kill the foolish enemies who dare cross Sweden. Now, I'm going to send my guys down. And I'm going to take this build, these buildings. And I'm going to use them as firing bases on the enemy. Because he does still have a significant amount of uh, troops left. However, I have taken the... Uh, 
the walls. The walls are mine. And with that, I can probably send my cavalry closer because I can soon send them in through this gate. The last, res last part of resistance is being mopped up here on the bridge. The Danes are dying at the hands of the Swedes. With that's how it goes when you don't research bayonets, Denmark. Meanwhile, my guys have actually lined up on the walls and started firing back at the line infantry. That is good, that's what I like to see. Oh, this troop is all up, okay, fine. I'm gonna send these guys around here. They're still fresh. I'm gonna keep them fresh. I'm not gonna exhaust them. These guys are very tired, as you can see. Killing people is exhausting work, apparently. So. And there we go. guys are also tired. I'll let them rest for a bit. These guys are wounded. However, it does look like I have a fresh regiment up here with 147 people in them. Okay, great. Uh, you take that barracks. That's your objective right now. No? Okay. Well, get down there then. And these guys are all very tired. Who are they fighting anyway? Oh, there was one guy left. Okay. These guys are probably trying to shoot at the enemies down there. It's not very successful, is it? Yeah, these guys are probably going to try and climb up the ropes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay. So, there we go. Spread up out on the walls and kill them all. Now, once these guys are in position, I'm going to sandwich that line infantry unit front and back without without uh, bayonets. They're not going to be able to do much. And this unit is fresh, so I'll send these guys over here. Now, only half of this unit is moving. Why is that? I send you up here. I just hate both the humans. It's really annoying. Looks like there's this classic unit delay which happens after you play the battle for quite a while. Uh, sometimes starts to become a unit delay. It is really annoying. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, these guys are all gonna run down. And these guys are going to run down into my life with that line infantry unit. Just trying to get all my guys so I can bring all of them to bear. Not having some of them stand there doing nothing. Uh, these guys are resting, which is why they're standing there doing nothing. There we go, on the move, just like I wanted. And down here, looks like there's some action going on. There is. As I said, my goal is to capture these buildings and uh, use them as firing bases. This is an almost full unit. They lost two guys, so they should be able to fill this building quite nicely. 
Uh, he's trying to cut me off with the regiment of horse, but like uh, I do have bayonets, so if he does that, it's not the best move ever. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, bayonets function like spears, very powerful against horses. You guys get into the barracks, you guys get down here. Actually, I don't want to run them. And there we go! Now he's got his demi cannons firing. It's about a load of time if you ask me. I'll attack his demi cannons with my line infantry down here. Oh, he still has his little line down there. I'm trying to defeat. Oh, they're wavering. They're in the middle of a lot of enemies. That's not a good position to be in. How is my cavalry? Can you get in here? These guys are wavering again. They're shaking. I'm going to send them some cavalry support, which is why I sent the cavalry in there. He's using his cavalry to full effect, and he's got his finger over his ass, and he's using the rest of his troops to do some damage. Which is what he should have been doing from day one. Down there. I know they're going to run right through the enemy group. That's fine. Uh, these guys have to slow down a bit. Now, how do I get that open? There we go. That's open. guys are still holding on even though they are tired. I just wanted to take care of this artillery because they were pounding my building and I don't want my building to disappear on me. Ah, uh, they're not all here yet. Yeah. The reason I'm withdrawing my cavalry is I want to keep my guns firing at the enemy. I don't necessarily need uh, my cavalry to sacrifice themselves just yet. This unit is pretty much dead. I just wanted to take care of his batteries. And I have pretty much done that, so... Mission accomplished for them. Now, I still have one unit of line infantry up here. Some of these guys down. We lost a gatehouse. Oh, we lost that one. Right. That's fine. And he keeps firing with his artillery. Really annoying. And uh, there's line infantry right there, running away. Straight into my group of line infantry. No problem, easily killed. These, this line infantry is steadily holding on. Because my guys are, yeah, they're tired. So I'm going to have to send him some relief sometime soon. How are these guys doing? Still dead. Now there we go, proper horse battle. With my guys being not tired at all, all good to go. Shouldn't be a problem, my guys are shattered right there. The little 28 troop that I sent out, all alone. That's to be expected. Now I just really want to kill artillery right here because he's doing some damage and if he does destroy these buildings I have troops in that's not good okay there we go I'm 
Now, he doesn't have any bayonets, so this should be quite easy for my uh, Finnish horseman. I did not expect this to go out, go off without losing anyone, and uh, it hasn't. I have lost people. I've lost quite a significant amount of people, but uh, you know, it's just it's acceptable losses, basically, is what it is. My Finnish guy is making short work out of his line infantry. No problem at all. Now, if I can capture that flag, I can win without too many more losses. I just need to wipe out his uh, horse regiment right there, which I'm doing right now. I realize this has been a very long battle. It has been a very long battle. So, and it was a very long episode. So, I'm gonna upload these these right now. I'm not gonna do two more before I do it because, uh, yeah, I was getting very long episodes. It's like, okay, he looks like he's charging my lines finally. Oh, straight into barrage of bullets right there. Got a very bug cavalry unit. There we go. And you know, once again, bayonets versus horses, that's a no brainer. The horses will lose. Now, this line infantry unit is still not dead, there's a few stragglers left. However, they are shattered, they are running, and they're dead. There we go, finally about bloody time. Are these guys are active, they're not exhausted yet. I still have bigger horse units ready, so I'm gonna sandwich this unit as you can see I'm setting up to do. setting up in square formation. That is probably the wisest thing to do when I'm attacking him like I am now. I threaten to sandwich him with the cavalry. So he's setting up a square. There you go. Charge them. Get it over with. Kill them all. Meanwhile he's getting whittled down by my 9 infantry. The last brave stand of Denmark. This is the absolute last unit he has. No mercy. This is what happens when you cross Denmark. There is no mercy. There is no leniency. There is only death. Thank you for watching this, probably the longest battle I've had so far, and definitely one of the more fun ones, capturing a castle with equally sized armies, even though mine were better and he didn't have bayonets, which proved to be the decisive advantage in this battle. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you back on the campaign map.